As the state gears up for the local government elections in July, Governor Akumi Ambode has sworn in new state independent electoral commissioners, director general of safety, commission, a new permanent secretary, and others. He asks them to add value to the corporate governance, growth, and the development of the state. And I welcome you to this. This is the conference room of the Lagos House in Alausa Ikeja. Lagos state officials, the state head of service, Mrs. Olabo Wali Ademola, former chief judge, Justice Ayotunde Phillips, and other state workers have all come together to witness the swearing in of new commissioners into the Lagos State Independent Electoral Commission, the Director General Safety Commission, and other agencies. Just before the event kicks off, the state governor, Akimumi Ambode, steps in. Without wasting time, the head of service lists out the names of the new appointees. Mr. Bolaji Mifta Are. Mrs. Iyapo Elizabeth Ladipo. Then they take their oath of office. I will faithfully bear true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Governor Ambody welcomes them on board, asking them to see their appointment as an opportunity to be part of the Lagos future. The appointment is a call to public service, and I'm very confident that you justify the trust the government has reposed in your ability and capacity to add value to the corporate governance, growth, and development of this state. Let me also add that your appointment is an invitation and a privilege to be a part of history as we lay a solid foundation for the future of Lagos, a Lagos that our children and their children will enjoy for many years to come. The appointment of Professor Gabriel Atunde Babawale and Dr. Noah Raju Lawa Jinodu to the Board of Lagos State Independent Electoral Commission was necessitated by the exit of two members of last year who had completed their second term. Beyond filling the two vacancies, this appointment became compelling in order to satisfy the provision of the law setting of this commission, which requires that the board of the commission shall be constituted by the chairman and six members. With this appointment, therefore, LASEC is properly constituted to conduct the forthcoming local government elections in this state. Let me use this opportunity to commend the chairman and members of the commission for all the actions they have taken thus far to ensure free, fair, and credible elections come July 22nd, 2017. The Public Procurement Agency and Audit Service Commission are two key agencies established mainly to ensure transparency and accountability in the procurement process, as well as the management and application of public resources. These have been the guiding principles of this administration in the past two years. The coming on board of Mr. Bola Jare, Mrs. Yabo Ladipo, and Ayo Adebusoe at the Public Procurement Agency, as well as Mrs. Jokotola Joshipe Ogundimu, at the Audit Service Commission, we further deepen the application of these principles to ensure that the taxpaying public get full value for their money. I charge you all to ensure strict application of relevant rules and never to hesitate in applying appropriate sanctions when necessary. Then a vote of assurance is given. I'd like to assure you that this appointment, which is a testimony to the confidence you have in us, we are going to cherish it very seriously and ensure that we deliver on our mandate. We shall ensure that we will not let you down. And we believe that with you in the saddle and us assisting you, Lagos of your dream, Lagos of our dream will emerge in not distant future. Mr. Akiumi Ambodi. In the same week, a new permanent secretary was appointed for one of the ministries. I will always follow the path of justice honesty, and concord amongst all the people of Lagos State, in particular, and Nigeria in general, all that I do. So help me. I have no doubt that she will bring to bear on the public service and this administration are widely acknowledged telling qualities of hard work, dedication, and professionalism. These are some of the qualities that we need to embrace and apply to government business, which is in essence the people's business. Presently, we have a vision which is being implemented through the various ongoing reforms in critical sectors, including transportation, education, environment, 
justice delivery system and tourism. The public service has a duty to ensure that these reforms are diligently implemented in a way that the desired intention is achieved. I am satisfied with the progress we have made so far. As it is said, the only room that is never closed is the room of improvement. I will therefore continue to demand improved performance, particularly from the top echelon of the public service with regard to the pace at which we con currently operate. You must continue to show leadership and direction for others to follow. In this way, we will sustain our unity of purpose and focus towards delivering the dividends of good governance to all our people. I want to pledge to you once again that I am sensing it more as a duty and a real privilege to be appointed into this body. I assure you, sir, of my total commitment and loyalty to your objectives. Now that four new head of agencies have been appointed and a new permanent secretary is in place, the state expects hard work and professionalism from these officials to help deliver good governance to the people of Lagos State.